Thank you for calling Sundance Vacations. This is Sue. I'd like to let you know the call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance purposes. And how may I assist you today? Hi, Sue. Um, my name is Marie, and I'm calling to check some availability um, on a vacation that we're looking to plan for my family. Great. Okay. Um, first, uh, Marie, may I have your account number? And if you don't have it, I can look it up with a f uh, phone number. No, I think this is it. Just let me know if I'm incorrect. Okay. So we start with two numbers and then a letter? Yes. Okay. I have 88F145789. Okay. Was that F for fun or F for Sundance? That would be F for fun. Okay. Um, first, also, may I call you Marie or do you prefer Miss Fitzgerald? No, please call me Marie. I would definitely prefer that. Okay, very good. Okay, now let me ask you um, if you can hold. I'm going to look to see, well, actually, where is it that you're looking to go? Um, let me think about that. Um, we probably have been talking about maybe getting down to Marco Island. Um, our family is heading down there before the kids go back to school in September. So we're thinking about maybe about getting a place down there. Um, and we're considering maybe the first or second full week in August if we have something like that. Okay. This certainly sounds fun. Let me see what I can find. Can you hold a few minutes? Oh, absolutely. Take your time. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Please hold. Okay, you know what? Um, you did mention that your family is going to be traveling as well. How many adults and children would you be looking to accommodate? It's definitely going to be me and my husband, um, and we have two children for sure. Um, I know we've been talking to my, my brother and his wife, and they were thinking about going. Um, so if you have something large enough, to accommodate everybody, so me, my husband, two children, so I guess like four to six people. Wow, that sounds great. Okay, just give me a few more minutes. Thank you. Appreciate it. No problem. All right. Okay, well, first I have a two-bedroom, two-bathroom. It's a condo located on Marco Island at the Angler's Cove. The check-in would be Saturday, August 1st. Checking out would be Saturday, August 8th. Now, the cove does have two heated pools, oh, a dock for fishing, which I would love, right on the site, outdoor tennis court to play with the kids, three hot tubs. How could you go wrong? Uh, it's on the third floor. There is an elevator for your convenience. And let's see, the unit, um, it includes a queen-size bed in the master bedroom. There's two twin-size beds in the second bedroom and a full-size sofa sleeper in the living room. Uh, may sleep up to, but not exceed. I'm sorry, exceed six people. And please, if you need me to go slower or you want to, you know, write anything down, just stop me anytime. It's a lot of information. Okay, I appreciate that. Thanks. Okay, uh, there's a full kitchen with a dishwasher, microwave, blender, coffee maker, two televisions along with internet access. The unit is air conditioned and has a washer and dryer along with the ironing and ironing board. And it also has a beautiful balcony. You can enjoy your breakfast before you start your big day, which is exciting. How did that sound so far? far? Good. Okay, there's another one. And the second option, that's Naples, Florida. It's about a half an hour from there, but still right on the coast. It's at our uh, Park Shore Resort. It has two bedrooms and elevator. You would check in on Sunday, August 9th, and check out Sunday, August 16th. And it's right by the Fort Myers Beach. It has an outdoor swimming pool, tennis court, there's a hot tub again I love, a grill on the site. There's a queen-size bed in the master bedroom and a queen-size bed in the second bedroom. There's the full kitchen, including the dishwasher, microwave, toaster, blender, coffee maker, as well as air conditioning and ceiling fans. Also that iron and ironing board. Lastly, if you're looking for something with more space, I do see here a three-bedroom. That's in Ruskin, Florida, near Tampa Bay, a little farther north, but it's also still by the coast. This little harbor studio, it has... Queen size bed in two of the rooms, two twins in the third, which might be nice for your kids to have their own beds. Um, it's a beach on-site hot tub, uh, fitness room. There's a playground tennis court. There's a place to do laundry. It also has that full kitchen, including the microwave, coffee maker, fridge, as well as the air conditioning and balcony. Now, this one would also be um, for the first week of August, like the Marco Island option, with check-in on Saturday, August 1st, and check-out on Saturday, August 9th. How do they sound? Any of these appeal? Is um, what you're looking for? Um, they all definitely sound really good. Good. I think maybe I should um, talk to my family and see what they think. Um, 
I know the three bedroom sounds really nice. If I knew for sure if my brother was definitely going to be going with us. Okay. The two bedroom at Marco Island sleeps six anyways. It's closer to the beach and um, you know, closer to someplace that we're looking mm -hmm. to stay. Right. Um do you know what there is to do around the uh, the property at Angler's Cove? Yeah, yeah, there's a lot to do. Um do any of you like to fish? Um, actually, my husband and my brother love to fish. I think that's something that they would be interested in doing together while we're out there. Excellent, because there's a pier right nearby. Um, also, there's a seabird sanctuary. I think the kids might like uh, about a mile away. My mother always had my children at these sanctuaries, and they're really neat. Um, there's a wide variety of species of birds. They're always walking around, flying freely. I know it's free admission, although they do ask for a donation, and it's a great educational stop. Um, depending on how much of a thrill you're seeking, there's a parasailing attraction, and that's about four miles from the cove. I'm not sure if I could do that, but your family might enjoy that. And the Reddington Shore Beach is less than a mile away. I know it has a beautiful place that you could go for walks, you know, group strolls, and oh, the food, don't get it, don't even let me get started on the food. Uh, there's a great waterside pub with a patio to eat outside and enjoy, you know, the weather just a few steps away. I've heard feedback at this, uh, at, you know, with Sundance Vacationers, and they say it has the best hamburger on the beach. So I would try that if I were you, if you, you know, decide to do this. It does and, sound good. Mm -hmm. um, let me think for a minute. Um, it's definitely a lot of information, a lot of options. Now, right. I know that my son is a, a real animal lover. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sure that he'd be probably pretty thrilled with the, the bird sanctuary. Mm -hmm. and, um, I think so. I think so, yeah. It sounds like mm -hmm. something they'd be interested in. And I know my brother's wife and I could uh, definitely get some time, uh, well-deserved time on the mm -hmm. beach. Maybe we could Absolutely. sit and have a couple of cocktails. And <laughs> my husband and my uh, my brother-in-law can get out there on the beach and enjoy everything. Um, it sounds like it's going to be something fit for all of us. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'll go ahead and book that. Mm -hmm. And if my brother and his wife decide to come and the kids mm -hmm. will... Yeah, I'm just going to have to sleep on the sleeper sofa. <laughs> they, do it at, they, they do it at home anyway. You know, they're sitting there watching TV and pull out the, the couch and, you know, they, they actually enjoy it, so I don't see where it's going to be a problem for them. It sounds really good. Very good, very good. So that was, um, let's see, check-in. That was Saturday, August 1st, uh, 4 p.m. And would be, uh, let's see, check-out Saturday, August 8th at 10 a.m. And well, let's go ahead and get that set up here because I know the kids are going to love all the fun attractions and you will love being close to the beach. Yeah, I mean, you know when you speak with somebody, uh, yeah. you prefer to speak with me and <laughs> there's a lot of information you provide. I really do appreciate right. you taking your time. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and take that, though. That sounds really good. Great. All right, let's just review everything before we do the booking. And your Sundance Vacation Reservations is for Marco Island, August 1st, 4 p.m. to Saturday, August 8th at 10 p.m. Oh, the room number, I don't think I gave you that. If you could jot this down, 3225. 3225, mm -hmm. okay. And it's a two-bedroom with two baths and sleep six. I thought that's what you said, but let me mm -hmm. double You want mm -hmm. to write that down, too, just sure. so I have that. Uh, no that problem. definitely sounds good. I'm already excited about it. We're, oh, right. we're here already. Very good. Oh, I know, right? I can't wait myself, Marie. Okay, so I'm ready for your card number. Just let me disconnect the uh, monitor, please. Uh, give okay. me a second. All right, thank you. Sure. Okay, and uh, I'm okay. ready. All right, that's going to be a Visa card. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's very good. And then I just need the uh, last four digits. It's on the back of the card, please. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So um, just one second while well, the charge is approved here. And uh, hold, please. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, your reservation is now complete. Very exciting. Very excited for you. All right. I'm going to send you out an email confirmation to look it over. Please also print it. Bring it along with you when you're, you know, for travel. And uh, the email address I have on file is that Miss Fitzgerald at Yahoo. Actually, it's not. It's it's M R S. It's just Fitz F I T Z. Okay. Dot com. Thank you so much. Very good. All right. Now. This uh, confirmation should be there by the end of the day today. In the event that it's not there by tomorrow morning, please check, you know, like other folders, um, or give us a call. I'll be happy to resend it. Is there anything else I can help you with today? 
Um, I don't think so. Let me just make sure um, I have sure. anything that I'm thinking of. Um, right. Now, when I get the confirmation, it's going to tell me, like, if it's a, if I have to check in at a special um, area or if it's, like, one of those, um, I guess they call it drop boxes where it's everything. like in the code, mm -hmm. so it would, everything would be on there everything. for me? Everything will okay. be there, but if you feel you need something, please don't hesitate. Give a call back. All right. I okay. kind of think that's all I could think of for now. Um, and you okay. said your name was Sue. Sue, and, mentioned. And it's 1053, yes. right? <laughs> yes, thank you. All right, well, I hope you and your family have a wonderful stay at Marco Island this August. And uh, feel free to share any kind of photos or let me know how it went. Thank you. All right, everything sounds perfect. Thank you so much for all your help. Hopefully you stay so warm. I hear, I hear there's more <laughs> snow coming our way, huh? Oh, please. Yes, it's terrible, but it's supposed to be done soon. Spring is around the corner, I hear. <laughs> uh, I've been hearing rumors that we might be getting up into the 40s, maybe the 50 by midweek. That would be nice. I'm welcoming it. I'm definitely going to welcome it. <laughs> all right. Well, Thank you so much for all your help. So you welcome. have a great weekend. Oh, you too. Thank you. Enjoy the rest okay, of the day. Bye-bye. Right, take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.